I'm going to again address this to uh, chiropractors or any alternative healthcare physician for that matter, anybody who is really curiously looking at what's going on with people to see if they can assist them or co-create a healing response with them and or if they're taking their, their uh, clients, their patients, their practice members, whatever you want to call those people and taking them on a journey of optimum health. The most fun people for me to work on were the ones that uh, took care of themselves, exercised, and then said, okay, how good can I stand it? You know, what can kinesiology and chiropractic do for me to get me to uh, get to my greater levels of performance, even though it's just fun, even though I'm a weekend warrior, it's not competitive, I just like running, I like playing football, I like playing basketball, and I want to stay on top of the game. Those were the most fun people. And regardless how you're living your life, as far as I can see, on planet mediocre, I'm sorry, planet Earth, uh, you're going to get hammered. Uh, and especially if you don't know how to respond, if you don't look out for yourself, if you're not ruthless about your own happiness. <clears throat> but I want to talk for just a second. Let's say, let's take just regular physics. If you take a bar magnet, just a regular, you know, magnet, a bar magnet, you can turn into a U if you want. The way to destroy the magnetic capacities of that magnet is to hit it as hard as you can with a hammer. And most times that will take all of the magnetic capacity away from the magnet. Now, in order to reestablish the integrity of the magnet, what you have to do is you have to rub it against another magnet. because a friction thing, and it lines the north and south up, and it becomes a magnet again. I use that analogy because when I'm working, uh, my magnet is pretty strong. I love what I do, and I'm really good at it. Uh, if I do, try not to break my arm doing that. But uh, one of the things we have a lot of fun, we laugh a lot. People leave my class and say, I haven't laughed that much in years, and I find that hard to believe because my family and I, we like to laugh, and I think it's a real essential part of life. But in a class, what I create is a magnetic field. When I go to my higher state of awareness, my higher state of being, my state of fun and joy and happiness where I can love everybody for no particular reason, and I include you in that, then you will see how to do it for yourself. A lot of chiropractors or natural healers do that for themselves, but they can get hit by one patient, one patient who they don't have a defense against, and all they should do is have somebody stop their world, time out, and say, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you realize how different you are from when you started with this patient and when you afterwards? Let's just take a look at it, look at what's worked and what didn't work. Let's stop for a few minutes and see what do you actually want. So what we'll do all weekend is we'll charge your magnet. We'll look at you, we'll point out to you when your magnet is not so attractive, and when actually when it's repulsive, and we'll point out to you when your magnet is extremely attractive. And I will do that with everybody else in the room. I'll, I'll guide you through the rules of the class, but I'm not going to judge or criticize you. I'm going to point things out so that when you do start to feel your own attractiveness, you'll know how to recreate it. And then we'll show you in your office how to do it, how to talk to your staff, say, okay, let's have a team meeting, stop here, let's have a team meeting and see how to reestablish our magnetic presence so that we can attract more on what we want. www.micpeakperformance. If you're in Spain or the UK, come out and see me. I've got preview evenings, I've got uh, weekend classes, they're fun, they're expensive, but... Most people, when they're done, say they're worth it. And I'd have to believe that too, wouldn't I? <laughs> have fun.